And welcome back guys, my name is Lagan, and today we're going to be playing some more Grounded. This is the house we built on the last episode, I added a front porch to it. So we can put our uh, roasting spit up here. We need some weapons today, what we actually need. Two of them to be exact. I've got a, I've got a blueprint for this red ant club, it's a tier 2 weapon. So definitely going to be better than the one we currently have. And then also the sprig bow. So it's we're missing gnat fuzz, we got to go find some gnats. So that's where we're going to start today is going out in the wild, out in the backyard, looking for some gnats. Is it daytime? It's almost daytime. That's the moon going down, so yeah. Almost daytime, so we shouldn't... There's probably... We're gonna get eaten, for sure. Wait, that's the moon coming up. It's just now nighttime. We're definitely going to get eaten alive now. Because now we're roaming around with basically some of the worst armor and weapons you possibly could have at nighttime. Stupid. If you were a gnat, where would you be? I would fly around lights like this. Let's see if there's any gnats up here. This, uh, this little lamp. Take this out. Uh, we'll take this stick all the way up. Let's see what's going on up here. Maybe we're lucky. Find some gnats. I'm not seeing any gnats. So, yeah, we're probably not going to be lucky at all. But I know where some guaranteed gnats are. I was just hoping to avoid having to go over where the guaranteed gnats were. Hey. Some free raw science and a spider web. Give me that. I did some researching of some of the things that we found last episode, so I learned a few more uh, crafting blueprints, recipes. I'll call them 40 different things before this series is over. But I learned how to make some new stuff, um, and one of them is this ant, uh, this ant club. If you remember, Burgle uh, tasked us with killing some red ants, and so I just uh, all I did was research their parts, and now we gotta we gotta get red ant mandibles. Which can only be taken from the soldier ants. That'll be a little bit of a challenge. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh, but we'll kill some red soldier ants here in a little bit. First things first, gnats are on the menu. I'm on the menu. Let's go. Now, if memory serves me correctly, yes, it does. There's a little tiny sprinkler head up here. Well, it's not so tiny. But there's a sprinkler over here, and it's kind of flooded the backyard a little bit. And I used to see gnats over here all the time. I'm hoping they're going to be over here. Unfortunately, I do believe there's mosquitoes over here, so if they see us, we're running for our lives. Yeah, there's... It's... Oh, God. Running for our lives. That's happening. We're already running for our lives. The mosquitoes can fly right through the grass, so there's no point in even trying to duck and dive and weave and bob. It's just not going to happen. We just got to keep running until he leaves us alone, because if I try to kill a mosquito right now, I'm a dead man. Not going to happen. It might happen. Should we try? I don't know. I'm just going to keep running. I'm almost out of stamina. We can't keep running forever. Oh my god, 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 I'm out of stamina. He's right behind me. No, no, no. Oh, he's trying to stab me with this mosquito beak. Please don't let me die already. I want to die already. Ooh, some outfit honeydew. Hmm, delicious. Why don't we just jump in the water, maybe? Do that. He can't go in the water. The water's right in front of us. Get to the water. Could go in our house, but then he might start attacking our house. And since our house is made of grass blades, that seems like a terrible idea into the water. Hey, did he leave us alone? No, he's still behind us and I'm out of stamina. <sighs> oh, we just gotta get in the water. Get to the water. Get to the water. Get to the water. Eee. Oh, he got me. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. He stung me like three times just then. Okay, so new plan. Let's get the, the let's kill the soldier ants first. We'll get a better club and then that way next time the mosquitoes even try it. If they even look at me, we'll beat their heads off. That's just what we'll do. Also, new, new plan. Let's make it daytime. Yeah, that's better. That's that's better. That's what we should have done to begin with. Just close your eyes and imagine it's We're fine. Power. Everything's fine now. All right. So what was I saying? So we need to find some red ant mandibles. Something like that. So let's go do that. The mosquito is still hovering behind the juice box, though. We're going to have to deal with him when we get the bow and arrow later on. He'll be a lot easier to deal with. I'll hit him with a few arrows. Then he'll come in close and we'll whack him with our new red ant club. That's a new, new, new plan. Okay, into the old red anthill we go. Let's just leave the little guys alone. We're not here for them. Um, but we want one of the big boys. Eat a big boy. There are a couple of big boys in this one. There's another red anthill on the map with lots of big boys in it. But this there's a big boy right down there. I see you. Look, I've got hand binoculars. That's a new feature. The new update came out since the last episode. In fact, the I, I, up, I recorded the first episode of this series... Like, uh, a week ago, so... It's gonna be a little confusing when you watched it, because the new update was actually out when the new episode came out. So, anyways, new uh, new new updates here. Which means we got a whole new biome in the yard, which is cool. 
Uh, all kind of new stuff to go over, but we'll, you know, we'll just go over that as it comes up. And we won't be going anywhere near, ah! We won't be going anywhere near the new biome anytime soon. It's like a tier three area. And if we go over there, all we're gonna do is die infinite amount of time. So later on in the series, we'll be checking out the new section of the yard, which is pretty cool. I stream this game also, and I have, uh, character I've been playing on for like 80 days or something like that. In-game days, not real days. Um, and so I'm a lot further with that character. Come on, Ant, you're about to boop. And I'm out of stamina. Stamina's a problem. Boop, got it. Got it. Also, water's a problem, apparently. I have none of that. We got red ant mandibles. But I think we need two of them. I do have some aphid, some aphid honeydew. We could drink that. Cool. It's kind of like food and water at the same time. Now we'll get all our stamina back, which is good. Healing us a little bit as we eat it. So, all right, we need. I think we need one more mandible. We better get as many as we can while we're down here. How about that? Smart. Uh, I think we go this way and we'll find a couple more. Oh, I see another big boy. All right. Oh, there's two big boys at once. Not smart. Let's see if we can bring him down the tunnel a little bit and get him back into this big room where we can see while we're fighting. Um, and then bash his head off. If this club made of thistle needles or whatever it is. Hey, friend, you're next. Yeah. Huh? Like that? And then, uh, and then, bam! Oh, God. There we go. Perfect block. Another one. Can't stop me. Ow. 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 Do it, man. Stop it. Every time I hit you, you hit me. You hit first. I'll block it, and then I hit you. I hit you three times, and then I make you dizzy, and hit you again. Then I get my stamina back, and I hit you one more time, and then one more time after that, and it's all over. It's lights out for you. Boom. Now, will you give me some more mandibles? Good. Awesome. We're out of here. Let's go make the Red Ant Club back at base. We have everything we need. Ta-da. We have a Red Ant Club now. Oh, baby. Let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah. Look at that thing. Nice. I made some some shelves and a couple of storage chests so we can kind of try to keep organized here. Okay, next thing's next. We need we need a canteen. In order to get a canteen, I'm gonna need to kill something that's burrowing under the ground. Let's see if I can see yeah, right there. We gotta shovel him up. I don't have a shovel yet, so we gotta make a shovel out of acorn parts, I'm pretty sure. So let's do that next. Um why is my torch out? Put that away. Yeah, let's get some acorn parts really quick. Make a shovel, see what's under the ground. All right, we have a shovel now. It's an acorn shovel. It's a strong shovel. Sturdy. Let's dig up something from under the ground. Looking for grubs. Sometimes they're not grubs and you'll dig up a larva. You don't want to dig up a larva because they're mean, but the grubs. Oh, poor guy, look at him. No, don't kill me. Sorry, bud. You're dead. Yeah, grub hide. I think is what we need for the canteen. Plus, we got something called grub goop. And all kind of other stuff. Wait, I hear one. There's one right here. There's one right here. Might as well get a few. <laughs> Kill all of the grubs. Oh, sorry, yet. Just casualty of war, man. Ooh. Boom. New club in action. Yeah. Got it. So the combat has completely changed since the update. And some things in this game now are kind of bad. Whereas before, it was just all good. And then some things are even better now. So the update brought some controversial changes. One of them being the combat system. Let's say you have a weapon that does 300 damage. Well, the way they have it now is that the first hit will do 50, the second hit will do 100, and then the third hit will do 150, totaling 300 damage. So you have to do these combo swings, two, three, to get the full use out of your weapons now. So that kind of sucks. It puts a huge F emphasis on stamina. And when you're first starting the game out, man, you just don't have a lot of stamina. There's ways to get stamina improvements as you continue to play, but starting out is going to be a lot harder than it used to be. Uh, things deplete a lot faster too. Both your armor and your weapons deplete a lot faster now. So that's really tough to start out the game with. So uh, if you've seen other people play this game before, you're going to be like, wow, Lagan, you're kind of terrible at this. No, no, it's the update. It's a bad time to restart and start with a fresh character. But, you know, I can make some choices during this playthrough that I didn't make during my first playthrough and possibly be even better than my other character by the time it's all said and done. But the beginning part's going to be a little rough. Hey, let's go down here and analyze some of the new stuff so we can uh, learn some new things, shall we? We shall. We're doing it. Here we are. Okay, we learned a grub armor set. Full armor set for the grub stuff. 
Silk Rope, huge, important uh, resource in this game. So that's that's a great one to have learned. And a basketball hoop. I am now the proud owner of a canteen. I'm so excited. We can get water and put it in here. I think you can keep two drops of water in here. It can be upgraded to hold, I think, as many as four drops. So um, we'll do that eventually. But hey, having a little bit of water now in our pocket is going to be great. But we just got to find some water to put in here first. You can also store juice and soda in here, but not both. Like, you have to pick one. You can't have one juice droplet and one water droplet. It's got to be either water in the canteen. Look at that. You just scoop it up. And now we have some water for the road. Awesome. So, back to the first plan. The second, the third, the seventh plan we had was to go kill some gnats. Let's go kill some gnats. Oh, look at this chunky. Oh, no. oh, ow, ow, acid, acid, acid. There's a chunky boy over here shooting acid at us. I don't know. I don't know if we should fight him right now. Let's fight him right now. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. I probably want to get some stamina, though. This is probably stupid. This is a really stupid idea. I'm going to go on record saying this is dumb. Why are we doing this? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Not getting me with that. Oh, I wasn't standing in it. That's a lie. All right, got my stuff back. I was not standing in the gas. Game, it was a lie. Oh, there he is. Come on, chunky boy. Let's do it again. I will win this time. I will win this time. One, two, three. Big hits, big hits. And I blocked. There we go. I'm out of stamina. Bad. All right, stay, stay away. Oh, it does have a really big splat radius. Something else is attacking. We have a mite attacking us. Maybe the gas will kill the mites too. I think it does. Uh, can we go in this? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Oh no! Ow, ow! Run, run, run. We're fine. Fine. Oh, we're not fine. Woo. We're gonna die again, probably more than likely. Hey, I've got a heal on me. Let's use that real quick. Keep this fight going. Mike, will you go away? I'm in the middle of a vicious fight with a big boy. Where are you at? A little mite chasing me. There you are. Yeah. Stop. Where did the big boy go? I don't want him to heal back up. Sometimes when they walk away, they heal back up. I actually need to heal back up. Do that. Don't do that. There's another mite chasing me. This is ridiculous. Oh, he's fighting the, the the bombardier. Okay, all right, all right. We got some damage in that time. Oh, oh, he's chasing us. Fight the little mites. Leave me alone. What's up? Oh, we got him stunned. I'm out of stamina though. No, no, I need a three-hit combo. Oh, come on. See, see what I mean? Like the the uh, the combat's a lot tougher now. All right, come over here. Come over here. Stinky boy. No, no, no biting. No biting. Oh, we almost have him, but he almost has us too. Who's going to win this fight? No way of knowing. If I had a bow and arrow, I could stand on top of a boulder and just shoot him. Probably do this once I get a bow and arrow. One. No, 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 no. Ooh, low skull there. No, stop it. Okay, we'll come back after we get a bow and arrow. I know where you live, man. I'll be back for you. All right, he wins this round. We'll let him have it. We'll let him have it. Ah, we finally made it. This is what I was looking for. There's a flooded section of the backyard where the sprinklers have busted. I know for a fact there are gnats over here. They're always over here. I'm going to take you to them right now. Oh, there's a field station nearby. Yeah, I see it. Right over... Oh, that's a stink bug, but it's right above the stink bug. I'm not messing with a stink bug right now. You thought that bombardier beetle was bad. Whew, wait till you get a load of those stink bugs. All right, yeah, over here. I think we have to swim across. Pretty sure that it's over here somewhere. A gathering of gnats. I see them. Look what else is over here. There's a toy. It looks like one of those battle toads, man. Rash. Yeah, so there's all the gnats. The only problem is they're way up there and I'm all the way down here. So we got to get their attention somehow. So they'll kind of swarm at me. Let's see if we can get on top of Mr. Battletoad here. Yeah, I can get you. Hey, bud. I'm pretty sure I killed one. Might have gone in the water. Yeah, there he is. So I need like four gnat fuzz. Hey, hi. Boom. There you go. And I think I have two on me right now. Let's see what this guy gives me. Hey, 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 hey. I've got five. So I think that's enough. We should probably kill a couple more, though. Because when I go to repair the bow, it's probably going to want some gnat fuzz. 
Uh, so maybe if we can get another one over here and whack him real quick. Hey, he's right here. Hey, friend. We're not friends, by the way. You're so cute. I'm not going to lie. For Nat, you're pretty cute. Would you stop? You don't even hurt me, really, I don't think. Just stop. All right, cool. Let's go home and make the boat. Let's make some arrows. Then we can start finally on today's journey mission. But I don't know what we're doing today. Found some clay. I figure we better get this and research it. I'm pretty sure it's got some recipes for important builds and other things that we'll need to do. So let's get the clay before we go home. And right, we're going to be a sneaky boy and try to sneak up to this field station. This one's being guarded by those stink bugs. I see them. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. Fine. We made it. We didn't make it. They're here. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh, there's the gas cloud I was telling you about. That's why I ran. We were in there, which is kind of safe to be in there, because they can't come in there and get you, but their gas cloud can. All right. Well, we discovered it. It's on the map now, but I didn't get to use the uh, analyzer on there, uh, which kind of sucks, because I wanted to see what the clay does, but that's all right. Back to the house we go. Here's a new update thing you can do. Check it out. You can uh, customize your lights. Brightness, dimness, and the temperature. If you want some red lights in your house, or the default color, I think, is about there, or white. Which is what I have them on. I think it looks cool. Ta-da! Bow and arrow. Now, we can attack some things at range, get them a little more weak before they either A, catch up to us, or we go in for the kill with the club. And what we're going to do now is try to track down a ladybug. There's been one kind of around the base. The first few days we've been playing. Yeah, there it is right there. Cool. So, we really need to kill this ladybug for a couple of reasons. Better armor set. She is responsible, I'm pretty sure, for one of the better tools. It's either a better axe or a better hammer. I can't remember which one, but definitely the better armor set. Probably the best armor set we're going to get anytime soon. So we're just going to... Oh my god, she's coming. We're just going to keep hitting her. We'll try to put some separation between us and her with these plants. Try to cheese it a little bit. Get her a little bit weak. And then we'll go in for the club kills because these arrows, as you can see... Aren't that aren't doing much now you can upgrade your weapons like your bow and your clubs and your swords and whatever you're using That's a little bit later on in the game We can't do it without a smith a smithing station or something like that and I don't have one of those yet I don't really remember how to get one of those. I think actually it's for sale in the burgle shop So we should go check burgle But it's probably gonna be on a burgle chip that we'll have to find and I'm sure I haven't found that burgle chip yet so Later on, we'll be able to upgrade the weapons, and the bow will do more damage. I'm out of arrows. Go pick up those arrows. And then keep hitting her. But let's just try to do it with the club now. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Got her. Nice. Nice. Oh, baby. We got ladybug parts times three. She did not drop the ladybug head, unfortunately. A little bit of bad RNG there. We're going to need a ladybug head for sure. But the ladybug parts should get us started with either the new tool... Or the new armor set, but we'll have to kill a couple of those. But now you see how it's done. That's how you do it. Get something in the way. Try to hit her from some range and then finish her off with whatever weapon you've got. At least when you're playing early. Later on, we'll go up to those things without a care in the world and just destroy her in about five seconds. Early game, not so much. Do you see any more arrows? Because I had 50. I do have 50. I picked up all 50. Uh, yeah, I got to go to Burgle, though, and see what these parts do. There it is, the ladybug chest plate, the ladybug face plate, the ladybug shin guards, and then you can stuff a ladybug. So if you want to taxidermy a ladybug and just have a huge ladybug in your base, you can do that too. There's another way to get ladybug parts without actually having to kill a ladybug. And it's a little bit dangerous, but let's give it a go and see what happens. I'm not expecting good things here because, yeah, as you can see, there's a spider web. Giant wolf spider over there. There's also an orb weaver, but the giant wolf spider is asleep. It's daytime. Ooh, there's a milk molar behind the uh, spider. We'll have to start collecting as soon as I get a tier two hammer. We can break those and collect them. It's going to give us some increases to our carrying capacity, to our overall health, overall stamina. It's a great way to buff your character by collecting those. So tier two hammer, but that's what we're looking for. The egg sacks. Inside those egg sacs should be some bug parts. Ladybug heads are sometimes in them, but also little tiny spiderlings are in them as well. But we got to take care of this big guy first. Could try the bow and arrow. Let's see how that goes. 
Actually, it does pretty good. Pretty good damage. So we'll just sit here and hit it. And kill it. This will be our first spider kill, I think. Say goodnight. All right, let me collect my arrows. Then we'll go pluck that spider. Now, the thing about the wolf spider is he's sleeping. But he's right on the other side of the branch where we're going to be collecting those egg sacs. Sometimes he wakes up when you break the egg sacs because the spiderlings make a bunch of noise. It's basically they're calling for its mama. So we may be running for our life here in a second. We'll see how it goes. I get all my arrows back. That's what I want to know first. At 46, got some spider chunks and some web fibers. Cool. Cool. And then so 47. I only lost three arrows. Not bad. Oh, there's some raw science back. All right, so let's just hope we don't wake him up, yeah? He woke up. I heard him. I heard him wake up. I'm going to hide really quick because he's going to come over here and check out what the commotion is. Yes. Oh, thank you. He'll go back to sleep in a second. We'll wait it out. All right, he's snoring again. So that one had gnat fuzz in it. That would have helped us a while ago when we were trying to get Nat Fuzz the bow and arrow. Let's see what this one's got in it. No, nope, bad. He's gonna wake. He woke up again. All right, hide, hide, everyone, hide. Boom, Bob Deer parts. Now that is definitely something that's used for, I think, the new hammer, Bombardier parts there it is the new insect act that's that's your tier two axe also a jerky rack which is important for making leathers and food that won't spoil and you can also stuff a bombardier so back to the taxidermy stuff but yeah that bombardier part was really important there you are she's sleeping okay it'd be a little risky because last time we had some big bushes in the way maybe these dandelion weeds and stuff that should be our cover all right let's go for it here we go we're gonna kill this ladybug. Hopefully she'll drop ahead for us. Let's begin. Oh, it looks like she can break the dandelion weeds. It looks like she's about to break one. I'm gonna try to get through, but we got like four dandelion weeds here. So we've still got some protection. If these were just regular blades of grass, she would just walk right through them. So you gotta find something really good to get between you and her. Not a lot between me and her anymore. <laughs> she knocked down a couple of them, but she's not gotten close to me yet. We keep trying. Oh man, she just healed up a little bit. That's not fair. Even though I'm technically cheesing to kill her. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't do it. I'm gonna go in for the three hit combo real quick. Bad idea, bad idea. She looks bad. All right, let's go for it now. And yeah, we blocked, we blocked. We took a little damage. It wasn't a perfect block, but ain't killing us. She didn't kill us. Ooh, that looked rough. Oh, only two hits. Oh, yes, perfect block. That's what I'm talking about. But remember, a perfect parry gives you all your stamina back. Perfect parry. It didn't give me all my stamina back at all. Oh, I think you need parry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at my health. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Back to the bow. Back to the bow. We only have one tree between me and her now. Don't you do it. Oh god, she's doing it! Ooh. Ooh. Die! Just, I just, I'm out of stamina! Not like this! Not like this! I told you stamina is such a pain in the beginning of this game! No, no! One more, one more! Yeah! Alright, please give me your head! Please give me your head! She did not give us her head, but we got more parts, which we needed definitely. Uh, so I think I think we have enough for the full set of armor as far as ladybug parts go But like I said, we're still missing a head so I've got to go find another ladybug and kill it Good night ladybug Got you Give me your head, please No, what? I have killed three of these things now no heads yet Hey, I found another crow feather standing on it uh, we have to get that later, though, of course, with the tier two axe. But we're over here by the bush, the hedge. And there is, uh, this is the jungle temple burgle chip up in the top left corner of the screen. That's that's our objective, our first objective to get a burgle chip. 
Uh, but I'm not over here to do that yet. One of the recipe ingredients for the Ladybug armor set is we need berry leather. And you can see there's berries all around this bush here. We're going to shoot them down with our arrow. And I'm hoping we don't need a tier 2 axe to chop them up. Let's find out right now. And fire. Comes one. Comes another one. Let's check it out. Please get tier. Yes, tier one axe. No problem. Okay, cool. So we I'm gonna collect some berries and then we've gotta like turn them into leather using the workbench. And that'll be all of the ingredients except for the ladybug head. Love of God. So what I'm hoping is I collect quite a few berries and then on the way home I find another ladybug. Ladybug on the way home. But I'm also being chased by like 40 mites right now. We take care of the mites first. Can't even hit them. Stop it. Little monsters. Yeah. It's gonna go in for a smack. Smack her right on the booty. It happens. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. Oh, but look, the larvas are attacking her. Good. Now fight each other. Fight each other. Help. Help, larvas. Oh, you were being so helpful. Help. Oh, no. Stop attacking me. Ants, why are you attacking me? Everything's attacking me. All right, you know what? Not enough of you. Come on. There we go. Ooh, got some big hits on her that time. That was good. Let me get on top of this leaf. I, about, I bet she can't get up here. Cool, cool. Yeah, we'll use the bow and arrow a little bit. And it looks like every time you get up on the leaf, she's going to turn around and try to walk away. So we got to keep her coming back by getting off the leaf and getting back on the leaf. It's a little trick. It's just a little trick. Oh! Oh my god, she's on the leaf and I'm on the ground. I have become the bug. She seems to be stuck up there, though. This is great news. She'll be dead in no time now. Just take our time and... Kill her with these arrows. Not right now. Don't have time for this, Larva. No time for this. I swear to God. Oh, Parry Master unlocked. Yeah. That's a new mutation. If you get enough parries, you'll unlock that mutation. That parry's a perfectly timed block. Um, Check this out. You're going to be the one with the head, aren't you? Yes. We got the head. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, we're going to go research that head. Um, let's check out Parry Master. And I think, you remember I was telling you, if you get a perfect parry, you get all your stamina back? I think that's once you get the Parry Master unlocked, I think. But we're going to check out that in just a second. And we're also going to go check out the Ladybug head and see what it unlocks for us. Also, the berry chunks can be turned into a berry chair. There's a smoothie we can make called Hedge Lord and berry leather. The most important being berry leather. Again, you get this brain power stuff unlocked every time you research something. And I just got uh, level four unlocked. Now, we already knew about the acorn set, but we just got an underwater breathing tube and an underwater dagger. It's, it's a stone dagger. You can use it above water, too. But oddly enough, underwater, you can't use a lot of your weapons. You have to use very specific daggers or a bone trident. So we do have our first dagger blueprint now. So when we do go underwater, and we will have to, there's the big koi pond in the backyard here that has an underwater lab and two burgle chips and a couple other really cool secrets down there uh, that we'll be checking out in a future episode. But now we have the breathing tube to get started, which will give us more breathing time underwater. All right, we got two new mutations to check out. Parry Master, your impeccable timing gives you an extreme advantage when blocking attacks. It's phase one of three, so we can get it up to three of three if we keep doing more perfect parries. Um, I don't know what it does exactly. Obviously, I'll have to look that up and give you some more detail, but I'm pretty sure it either makes it easier to parry or you get all your stamina back with a perfect parry. I think it's one of the two. And then I just unlocked Barbarian. Because I'm using an Ant Club uh, and getting kills with the Ant Club, it unlocked Barbarian. Club being the key. Strong and reckless, you pride yourself in using the biggest weapon possible. Your muscular arms have no problem swinging the clubs with great force and blind rage. You deal largely increased damage while raged. that cannot time your blocks correctly. So, um, if I use this, there will be like a... Let's see. You become... you With, with this status... If, let me go ahead and activate it. We'll get rid of um, Cardi... No, we'll get rid of Natural Explorer, which is 
we move around a little faster so we'll deactivate that one let's put on barbarian and if i if i were to go hit something a few times like the, almost this red overlay will come on the screen letting me know i'm enraged and my hits will do more and more damage um but i think it's going to take like probably three or four hits in a row to activate like this guy let's let's mess with this guy real quick might be a stupid idea but let's do it anyways come on come on oh my parries are getting good Fortunately, I can't swing it enough, it would seem like, to get this thing to activate, this mutation to activate. Plus, it's only stage one of three, so it'd be a little rare for it to activate. But I promise you, Barbarian's really good if you're going to be using clubs. Yeah, it's activated now, do you see? I'm enraged, so I'm going to be dealing more damage right now. You can see, like, this effect on the screen where it looks blurry. Come on, come on. You're not running away. There we go just killed a spider though with hand-to-hand -hand combat but hand-to-hand -hand, i mean club to face combat but i did it without using my bow we're getting stronger all right i made the legs i got some more berry leather that's what we look like pretty nice now this is great because now we have uh heavy armor on which gives us three and a half squares of defense as opposed to what was it one and a half with the acorn so much better defense with this plus it has uh let's see blocking strength you block more and then we've got the set the full set on so you get a set bonus and this set bonus is called scarlet embrace which heals you over time when you're wearing this outfit so you're gonna have a little tick of health going up so long as you have this outfit on that's awesome we'll still need bandages and stuff but it's nice if we're like uh just take a little bit of damage it'll heal over time so that's fantastic so we are finally ready to go to the jungle temple and get our first burgle chip we got some new armor we got a new club and we got the bow and arrow so i feel safe like we can do that and we'll do it on the next episode thank you guys for watching drop a comment down below in the comment section leave a like if you enjoyed and as always it's been your boy lagging 24 and i will see you uh, next time